Hi, this is Hank Hanegraaff, president of the Christian Research Institute and host of the Bible Answer Man broadcast with another Hank Unplug short. Today, I'm thinking about St. Valentine. And not only about St. Valentine in the singular sense, but in the plural sense, because there were two Valentines. They had something in common. They were imprisoned and tortured and killed under the Roman Emperor Claudius II in the 3rd century. And they not only shared the same name, but in sharing the same fate, they became inspirational for Christians all the way into the present day. One was a bishop, the other a presbyter. One was a healer, the other was a valiant defender of marriage. But both, again, were inspirations, not only for what has popularly become St. Valentine's Day, but, but for standing for truth no matter the cost. So one, the presbyter, in in defiance of an imperial edict, continued to do what was necessary, and that is to unite and bless the union of Christian couples. Often had to do that in secret, underground in the catacombs. But what a model of the life of Christ. Christ, the personification of what is true love. And so we still remember St. Valentine's, the presbyter of Rome on July 6th, and St. Valentine, the bishop of Rome on July 30. Two men who loved enough to die for truth, to die to self, to live for God to say that the institution of marriage was created, sustained, and, 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 and given to us by God himself, to say that if you change the meaning of marriage, you change the very essence of marriage. So the Valentines who died in Rome stood for truth. I wonder if we're willing to stand for truth, particularly when it comes to marriage. We live in an epoch of time much like the Roman Empire. Today we have a Supreme Court Justice, Anthony Kennedy, who holds that marriage, at least the historical definition of marriage, fosters little more than ill will and animosity. And that anyone today who embraces a historical definition of marriage does so out of hate and animus. If marriage means everything, in the end, it may well mean nothing at all. So the question is, are we willing to stand for the biblical, the historical meaning of marriage. Are we willing to do for truth what the Valentines were willing to do in the third century? If we are, we may well as yet make a difference in our epoch of time as well. So happy Valentine's Day and thanks for tuning in.